See what happens when dog and owner reunite after seven years. And Donovan Achitola made a decision to adopt their very first dog way back in 2008. The couple decided on an Italian greyhound that they named Bemis, who was called so after one of their favorite singers, Max Bemis. What the couple did not expect was how quickly Bemis would be taken away from them. After just two years of keeping him, he was out of their home. Like any other pet lover, the Achitola couple was extremely excited to go and adopt their very first dog. It was sort of like a first child to them because they were mixed with emotions. They were nervous and at the same time tremendously impatient to get their hands on a new dog. So when they met the Italian Greyhound, they could not walk away, adopting him then and there. The two did not waste any time and they were so glad to have found a dog that they both felt very positive about. When couples live together, they sometimes view their pets as their children and some of them even learn how to be responsible and care for another being. They were very confident that they can take good care of the canine. Kelly and Donovan actually found each other while they worked for the US Navy. Kelly held position there as a combat medic while Donovan worked as a nuclear engineer. You can tell that these two both hold a very impressive career. And like any other military career, these two would often find themselves deployed and kept away from one another. What happens when a couple can't stay together for long periods of time? Well, they usually end up missing each other, feeling very lonely. So these two would often feel very alone and it would get a little unbearable for them at times. Since they both couldn't do anything about being posted out of the station, and away from each other, the only option they decided on was to adopt a dog to keep them company. So it had been two years since Bemis had entered the Achitola home. It was then time for them to leave their home because of their work. They had to move from upstate New York to Norfolk, all the way in Virginia. Kelly was not complaining as much now since Bemis was there to keep her company. She did not feel lonely anymore, even if she had to stay back home. The two of them were inseparable and they did everything they possibly could together. Bemis, as an addition to the family, was something that spewed positive vibes all around. They felt truly blessed to be the parents of this lovely pup. But as we all know, all good things must come to an end. It was all going smoothly, but something terrible happened unexpectedly. So one random morning, one day, Kelly let Bemis out to run around and play about in the backyard as she needed to use the bathroom. On most days, Bemis did not want to stay away from his mommy for too long and would always come back and scratch the door whenever he wanted to come back in. This time was different, as there was not a single scratch to be heard from the dog. Imagine how shocked and scared Kelly must have felt when she realized that her lovely dog was nowhere to be seen. I went out to the backyard to see what was going on and... Sure enough, he wasn't there. Kelly explains when she found out Bemis had in fact vanished. She looked around and then discovered that the back gate had not been closed. For anyone who owns a pet, we all know that it becomes very stressful when our pets disappear all of a sudden. There is also some amount of guilt that rushes through our system when they're gone while under our supervision. So, it was only natural that Kelly ran around the neighborhood to go and look for poor Bemis. She checked everywhere to see where the dog had gone. Just think of the frustration Kelly must have gone through when she found out that the dog she had loved so much, taken care of for two long years, just vamoosed without any indication. It was just like he vanished without a trace, Kelly recalls, as she told interviewers about how Bemis left without a trace. Her comforter and companion were now out of her grasp and she felt terrible. So, what could the horrified owner of Bemis, Kelly, do at this time of confusion? Well, she decided to make a call and speak to Donovan to ask for suggestions. He'd been deployed at the time and was not home. The two then thought of the best plan they could get. Kelly was going to have to go through every nook and cranny of their neighborhood to see if anyone had seen Bemis. As she went through all of the houses in her neighborhood, she asked them if they could check their backyards even their garages and sheds. 
However, it was of no use as there was not a single person who had seen Bemis the dog. Kelly even went as far as looking into the local shelters too. Even then, there was not a single person who had seen her dog. So, after living in Virginia for a while, the couple had to move once again after four years. Their work had led them to leave for another city once again. This was not a new thing for the couple, but they were still very affected by what had taken place with their dog. Kelly and Donovan were now going to have to move all the way to the sunny state of California. The two of them had spent months upon months scouring each and every corner of their neighborhood and even the surrounding streets to hopefully find their Italian greyhound, Bemis. But all their efforts in trying to locate their lost dog ended with disappointment after disappointment. They were very sad and looked for answers for so long, but now it was time to start anew. When we lose something precious, it does not matter how long it takes to find it. We'll be happy to find it regardless, right? So, after seven long years of finding not a single trace of Bemis, in the month of February in 2017, Kelly received a letter that was associated with her long-lost pet. Would you feel happy to finally get word on someone that you truly love after years of waiting? So where did this mysterious letter come from? The letter that Kelly received was actually from a microchip company that specialized in locating owners of lost pets. But there is a big question that pops into everyone's head. Why did it take so long for them to reach out to her? And what made them wait so long if they could trace Bemis? So what was the main reason behind them taking so long? Well, it turns out it was not completely their fault. Since Kelly's job required her to move and change her phone numbers every so often, this caused a very big issue on their part. So on file, Bemis's microchip was actually outdated when he was found. So then what happened? Since the microchip had already been outdated, it resulted in them taking a very long time to do their investigative work. The microchip companies needed to be very precise and could not just rush things because they wanted to help Kelly out, so they were taking their time. It was important for them to do their job and not just hurry things for the sake of it. So, after all these years, you'd think that Bemis would never end up in their midst again, right? After all, the dog was not a big hulking breed that could terrorize anyone he meets. So, you must be wondering in the back of your mind, who was the person who found Bemis? Who could have, after seven dreadfully long years, managed to locate the dog? After Kelly and Donovan did their best to locate and find their dog, they had to come home with bad news that seemed permanent. Even though they went all over the neighborhood asking strangers and neighbors alike if their dog had been spotted, there was no one who could find Bemis. But at last, a woman named Tracy Tucker found the dog walking in Gastonia, North Carolina back in 2016. She was actually on her way home from work and was driving. Since she saw that Bemis was a tiny dog and appeared to be very lost and lonely, she felt bad and opened the car door for the doggy. She just wanted to take him home as she felt the street was no place for a dog like him. The little guy did not hesitate to jump in and join her on her way back home. So what Tracy did was she decided that it would be best if she went to an animal hospital to get the dog checked. So after taking him home, Tracy took little Bemis to Wilkinson Animal Hospital to find out if the dog was microchipped. So what happened when the doctors checked to see if the dog had wandered alone for all those years, if he had a microchip or not? The professionals did find that the little guy had been microchipped, but there was a problem that followed Bemis's microchip information. It became so outdated that they couldn't even make use of it to track down the parents. However, luckily for Bemis, because the people working at the hospital had some good connections, that allowed them to pull some strings. After trying so hard, the animal hospital could finally do something useful. They were able to reach out to the American Kennel Club Reunite. They were the ones who made it possible to successfully locate the phone number for Kelly's mother-in-law. Even though this was not the actual parents of Bemis, it was close enough so they contacted them. So, as soon as the mother-in-law heard the news, she was overjoyed. She couldn't wait to inform Kelly and did so as soon as she could. While she received the news, Kelly was quite busy setting up a GoFundMe page. Since she was still not over her dog, she made this page to bring Bemis home. 
This was set up to help them in assisting with the hospital and flight charges. So, as soon as Kelly heard about the location and condition of her long-lost Bemis, she couldn't help but smile and feel ecstatic. All of the word and effort put in trying to find Bemis had finally paid off and she couldn't be happier. She was actually losing hope and was starting to feel like she was never going to see her darling dog's face ever again. As a loving parent of Bemis, she didn't want to waste time to be reunited with her dog. So, Kelly did not wait around for action to be taken. She quickly took a flight to North Carolina so that she could get to meet the person who found her dog, Bemis. She wanted to personally thank the woman who had now stopped her nightmares and frustrations. So, it became pretty clear from her GoFundMe page that Kelly was extremely happy to get to see her dog once again. You know, you get to hear these miracle stories about people who get their missing pets back after years apart and you think, that'll never happen to me. But my God, it has, expressed Achitolis on the GoFundMe page they set up for Bemis. Kelly added on the page, speaking about how happy she is that she would be forever indebted towards the woman who had managed to lead her back to her lost dog. Tracy is a guardian angel and I will never be able to thank her for everything she has done for me and for our dog, writes Kelly on her page. Seven years is indeed a long time and indeed something to celebrate. To say that Kelly was filled with joy would be a total understatement. There's not a word that could describe the happiness that she felt when she finally was reunited with her dog. As Kelly was patiently waiting for him, Bemis came running into the vet's office where she was sitting, and so the two finally met back up with a warm embrace. Imagine meeting your pet that you have started losing hope of ever seeing again. How would you feel? We'd all be overjoyed to finally meet our pets again, right? This was exactly what happened with Kelly when she met Bemis again after seven years of being apart. Streams of happy tears came rushing down her face as she held her dog for the first time in years. Kelly could not stop the tears of joy from flowing continuously. She couldn't even speak for a few minutes as the happiness she felt inside meeting Bemis again was too intense. After a long while, she could finally utter some words. Oh my gosh, Bemis. Hi, sweetheart, she called to her dog as she held him tightly in her arms. Everyone in the room became emotional too. Kelly was so glad to see that Bemis did not have any complications health-wise and that he was more or less healthy looking. He looked exactly the same as he did seven years ago, she says, and couldn't stop herself from smiling. To get to see a pet that you cherish so much after all hope is lost is something Kelly is truly lucky to experience. Kelly was completely taken over with so many emotions when she got to reunite with her loving Italian greyhound. She couldn't hold back her tears and was so glad that Bemis had been okay being all alone for all those years. She felt joy in knowing that he had not changed and that he was finally coming home with her once again. The two of them were so close and they did everything together at home. Kelly and Bernie were especially close as Donovan had been deployed to somewhere far away so many times. Bemis became Kelly's only companion and he was her emotional support for all those years. He was my best friend and we did everything together, she confirmed. So, the mere fact that the couple got to keep Bemis to themselves once again was something worth celebrating. They were just so happy that the dog that had provided them with so many memories was finally in their grasp again. They couldn't stop saying how grateful they were to Tracy Tucker and were so thankful that they got to live together again. Tracy was also someone who deserves recognition for this, as she went out of her way to make sure Bemis returned to his rightful owners. She ensured that Bemis was returned to his loving parents and she didn't stop and drop the dog off back in the streets. The couple has now learned their lesson and Shirley is never going to let him out of their sight ever again. This is a story that proves it is extremely important to get our pets microchipped to make sure that they remain out of harm's way or when they get lost to find them again. It's a good reminder that we must also maintain the information kept in these chips up to date. It would have been a quicker rescue if the couple could have kept the information on Bemis up to date. We never know what could happen in the future. We can always find ourselves in a situation familiar to that of Bemis where our pets get lost and completely out of sight. 
So, let the incredible story of Bennis be one that makes us more aware of our pets and to keep the information on them as regularly updated as we possibly can. There are so many life lessons we can learn from this amazing story. We should always keep our eyes on the pets as they are just like children who sometimes don't know right from wrong. We must also never give up on things if we feel passionate about them, as it took seven years of undying effort to find Bemis. We should also make sure the microchip on our pets remains updated. Animal lover? Subscribe to our channel for all the latest in pet care and animal rescue. You can also visit our store where you'll find cheeky merch for cats and dog lovers, including fun and original t-shirt designs and many other accessories you will love. Our earnings will help support and rescue animals in need and make a difference in their welfare. For more information, visit www.pawsfashion.store. Thank you for being a part of our growing community and for caring about animals in their lives, especially at a time where they need you the most.